show me everything. 255 here. What up, Deep Buds? Talking about today, Dragon Ball Fighters and the possibility of there being a part two or a season four. Dragon Ball Fighters has sold six million copies and we love this fighting game. Some content makers and others in the DBFZ community have been discussing the idea that there may not be a season four or part two. I can see why they might say that because the developers didn't mention either. On the other hand, I am of the belief that it can and should still happen. And I want to talk about some reasons why. I also want to talk about why it might not happen. First, I imagine that if they release a part two for PC, PlayStation 4, and 5, Xbox, Nintendo, Switch, that probably is going to bring in a great amount of sales, and I'm sure plenty of people would buy it. What I do wonder about, however, is this. Is the production cost for fighters going to be enough to justify making a part two for the parties involved? So what are the parties involved? I imagine Akira Toyrama, Shueisha, Bandai Namco, and Arc Systems, and I'm assuming that at least three of those parties are getting paid for the production of this game or receiving money for the sales of this game. To be short in speaking, I'm not sure how they're splitting the money. I just think that they are. And as far as sales are concerned, Event Hubs reported, Dragon Ball continues to track higher than Street Fighter V Championship Edition despite having two more years on the market while catching up to Namco's or Bamco's other big fighting uh, Tekken 7. I'm really happy that Dragon Ball Z Fighters is dusting Street Fighter V because that game came out in a fractured state and let's be honest Capcom's been in a fractured state when it comes to fighting games it, at least going back to Street Fighter versus Tekken I haven't really been dropping too many uh, gems or good things and that freaking Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was garbage this is coming from a longtime Capcom fan and I've been playing Street Fighter since I've been five years old and I've been around for a while okay Street Fighter Turbo 2, even the uh, Garbage Movie, the Alpha series, the Third Strike series. Um, I even played the Capcom Fighting All Stars, Rival Schools, Power Stone, Dark Starkers 3. You name it, I probably played it and bought it just because it said Capcom. And um, they, they haven't really been doing a good job rewarding us fans for that loyalty. And Street Fighter 5 is actually in good condition. If they had just put, if they just gave Championship Edition great netcode, it would have probably redeemed it. And looking at the sales from um, Street Fighter V, they, from the Championship Edition, they probably um, saw that people were still interested and they still didn't fix the netcode. That was a big letdown. I'm hoping that they really bring it back with Street Fighter VI, but anyway, that's not here or there. I guess the next question we're finding out would be, what are the top selling Dragon Ball video games, right? And there are many. So which ones rank the highest and how does fighters fit into it? Well, it turns out that back in 2018, there was an article released by Nicholas Raymond in which he reported that Bandai Namco's Dragon Ball Fighter Z sells more than 2.5 million copies, thus making it the fourth best selling game in the franchise. That was in 2018, and we know that it's already at 6 million copies. Then, again, according to Bandai Namco from the same article, Dragon Ball Fighter Z has already sold an impressive 2.5 million copies as of March 31st. This includes both physical and digital sales. Having launched at the end of January, Fighter Z has only been available for three full months. A week after its release, Bandai Namco announced that the game had already sold 2 million copies. That alone was a milestone as it made Fighter Z the franchise's fastest selling title. And let's consider the fact that Dragon Ball Z has already 40 games out. 40 games 
and it's the f and that was the fastest. So that has to let Arc System, well not necessarily Arc System, but Toby Animation, Shueisha, Akira Toyama, and Bandai Namco know that yes, this game is worth the money. If nothing else, it's bringing more attention to the Dragon Ball Fighters. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard content creators who didn't even watch the Dragon Ball series, like Maximilian, for example, um, or even uh, Lord Knight, who, who or other content creators, I think even, um, what is his name? I can't think of him right now, but uh, Dr. Blue, right? How other content creators didn't even watch all of Dragon Ball Z, but they got into the franchise because of this game. And you can think about other people, and I'm not saying that they watched the whole series either, but they definitely paid more attention to the series. I can only imagine how many people in the fighting game community have also paid attention to this game because of, of, of this, uh, or to the series rather, because of this game. So it's, it's definitely doing the job marketing wise. I can't see why they would stop it unless they just want to be cheap and not pay them. Again, the article states that the game has already become the franchise's fourth best-selling title, which is a major accomplishment considering that over 40 Dragon Ball games have released since 1986. Based on Bandai Namco's financials from previous years, 2015 Dragon Ball Z Universe is at the top-selling ball game Dragon Ball game of all time with an estimated 5 million sales. That was in 2018. It was top selling for part one. The second game, uh, Dragon Ball Budokai, sold 3.5 million units, followed by Xenoverse, which sold 3.4 million units. So that's in 2018. Numbers have changed, but Dragon Ball Fighters is up there. And you can imagine if there was a part two, that those numbers are going to continue rising. I say this, right? Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is successful in terms of sales. And the only reason why I could see them not making a part two of this game, like I said, is because they're too cheap to play Arc System. And considering all the games that Arc System is working on, um, Fantasy, Grand Fantasy Blue, um, Duel and Dungeon Fighter that's supposed to be coming out, of course, Guilty Gear, they might, I think I've heard, I'll check that they may have another uh, Blaze Blue and Works. Like, Arc System's already successful, you know, and who knows, like, if they do this right, we can get a, um, we can get a, 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 uh, Shonen Jump Fighter, maybe even Shonen Jump versus Webtoons, it'd be pretty crazy. So, let's look at another reason why Bandai Namco, Shueisha, Akira Toyorama, Toei Animation, whatever, want to make another Dragon Ball Fighters 2. Look at Dragon Ball Kakarot. Only sold 2 million copies uh, when, it, when it came out or around that time, whatever the case is. Might be more, but get, it's not close to what Dragon Ball Fighters sold, right? And why is that? It's because you can only tell the story of Moses so many times, right? You, you can only repeat Goku's story and let's play I think I played maybe six or seven Dragon Ball games nowhere near as many as Capcom games as I played without a fail but I'm already tired of going to Goku's story you can only improve the graphics and improve the game so much to make it feel like Dragon Ball um for me to play it again like you would have to make it like near perfect anime adaptation and we Dragon Ball Fighters is already doing that enough for us. Of course, it can be improved, but it's pretty close. So that's not really adding a lot of new fans to it. I think what they need is a part two and then a part three. And, and they need to continue as they expand on the series, expand on the Dragon Ball Fighters game. Look, Tekken's been expanding for years and still with Street Fighter. Why not Dragon Ball Fighters? You know, just put the time and energy in. Anyway. Uh, let's be honest too. Another reason is the fighting game community loves good fighting games and Arc System is good at it, right? The fans want a season four or a part two and they'll pay for it. There's skins, there's stages. So Bandai Namco, Toei Animation, 
Shueisha, a tier to your arm the great. Yo, do yourselves a favor and support a part two of this game by Arc System. Yo, this is DeepMod 255 out one. Or you could also maybe get Capcom to make a version of it. I don't know. But that's just whatever. All right. 255 out one.